God bless everybody today. It's a good day to to be um I'm gonna say be alive. Be alive in the Lord, amen. Um it's been a while. Uh this is your brother Daniel at O F F our Father's Fellowship. Amen, amen, amen. Um got a little little testimony I want to share with you guys. <clears throat> and um I've been wanting to do this and stuff and uh, finally found the time. Uh, God put it in my heart to do it, to share this testimony. But, um, you know, we all struggle. You know, we all struggle. We all go through things as Christian, as as men and women of God. You know, and whenever we are, uh, whenever we're saved, you know, and we're, li and we're living for God and we have the Holy Spirit within us, you know, um, we go through so many trials, tribulations, I mean, we, we face so many things that, that the enemy puts before us, you know. And when we fall, when we sin, or not even that, whenever um, we fall short of God's glory, like, for instance, say, you know, we're not getting into the Word of God. Um, we're not going to church enough or, you know, we're, we're not, we feel like we're not doing enough for God. So, therefore, it makes us feel, uh, it makes us feel this, this little you know, and we want to hide and run away from God. And let me tell you, that's not going to work because we can't hide or run away from God because he he knows our every move. He knows our future. He knows everything about us. He knows every every hidden secret within us, within our minds, within our hearts. God knows it all. So <clears throat> I've been feeling I've been feeling like that, you know, and um, I've been feeling like I'm not doing enough for God. And, um, and I just feel like, um, you know, like, like I've fallen short and it, and it seems like it, it happens all the time, you know, and, and, and it, and, and it gets you to the point to where you don't want to do anything. You don't want to worship in the Lord. You don't want to hear praise and worship music. You don't want to get into his word. I mean, you just don't want to, to do it cause you don't feel led to because you feel like if, if we get into the word, you know, how can I get into the word after I did this yesterday? How can I get into the word after I, I cussed, you know, or I said this or, you know, whatever it may be in your life. <clears throat> but as for me in my life, you know, it, it's been a struggle ever stop, ever since I stopped preaching the word of God. But I would never stop ministering the word of God. Amen. But um, <clears throat> I was like that. And I had a dream one night. I had a dream one night and it was last week sometime and this dream was crazy man crazy dream it was it was like a, a gloomy night it was all red outside you know it was it was nighttime the clouds were red you know it was kind of windy you know it was weird and it was me and there was somebody else beside me I can't make out on who it was but I know there was somebody beside me so <clears throat> when um in, in this dream I see myself carrying a cross and I'm carrying a cross and I'm getting ready to hang my cross in the ground to po to post it in the ground because I'm about to get crucified. I'm about to get crucified, man. And the feeling that I had, the feeling that I had was kind of a joyful feeling but then i was scared a little bit but then i was happy because i was about to get crucified because i was about to die as jesus died so as soon as before i could even get hang myself or before i could even be that i got crucified or whatever um i woke up and i was like i was freaking out because of the dream i was like man am i fixing to die something gonna happen to me i mean i, I was just like i i mean it, just, it was just in my head for a couple of days and stuff and then uh, one day on my way home <clears throat> you know i'm i'm praying to god and stuff and i'm just talking to him and i'm like lord forgive me you know forgive me for i've fallen i've fallen short of your glory lord and and, and, and it's like a it's like an a ongoing deal you know it's like you, you get on the roller coaster and then all of a sudden you fall off and you go down, you know, and you come back up. Man, it's so hard to 
to stay up. You know, it's so hard to um, to not feel like like you're not good enough or, you know, you feel like you're not, you know, worthy for God's word and stuff like that. And that's the way I was feeling. So on my way home, I was I was praying and, uh, you know, I was crying out to God, Lord, forgive me, forgive me, Lord. You know, I, I repent before my sins. I repent before, you know, for falling short of your glory, Lord. I repent, Lord. I, I don't know what this dream means, Lord. I don't know what it means. You know, I, I don't understand this dream. What is it, Lord? Can you please just share with me? Can you tell me what this means? <clears throat> so, you know, I, I'm just praying. I'm crying out to him. And then I kind of leave it at that and stuff. And then I, I get home. That same day, I get home. You know, I got out of work, get home, take a shower. And I'm relaxing in the living room, watching some TV and stuff. And then out of nowhere, uh, my four-year-old granddaughter... Uh, she comes up to me, you know, and she's watching, <clears throat> you know, um, her um, her kids YouTube or whatever. And she's watching it and stuff. And then, um, you know, she's watching it on my phone and then we're sitting together and stuff. And it's crazy. It's crazy, but it's amazing at the same time because something happened. Something happened and it was so amazing. It was so awesome. Well, I'm sitting there and then she just puts the phone down and then she looks at me and she tells me, Grandpa, I love you, Grandpa. She tells me and she says, you know why I love you, Grandpa? I love you because you have God in your heart. And because God loves you. Man. Amazing. Out of, out, out of the mouth of a baby. Out of, out, out of the mouth of a child. To, to, to show me. That he can even work through a child. Why can't he work through you? Why can't why can he work through us? And and when she told me that, man, I just started crying, man. Because God showed me through my granddaughter, through a baby, that he loves me. Regardless, regardless of the situation in my life. That he loves me. If that ain't amazing. Man. If that ain't God. God is so awesome. And, and, and I said. And, and I say, say this verse a lot. For he says that he will never leave us. Nor forsake us. You see. And that's the way I was feeling. I was feeling alone. Left out. Like. Like, like God's not. Where, where are you Lord. I, I need your strength, Lord. I, it's like it's like you're trying to fight for air. You're trying to you're, you're trying to trying to save your life because you're drowning. Because you're drowning, and then all of a sudden he comes and he picks you up. And he says, "Here, I'm 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 here. I never left you, for I will never leave nor forsake you." Praise God. Amen. I want to share with you this verse. The next day I was listening to a sermon and this pastor reads this verse and this verse is so amazing. And it's like one right after another, God's just showing me, hey, I'm here. I haven't left you. I'm lifting you up. I'm here, son. I love you. For he says, I'm going to read the NLT version first, okay? And this is in Psalms. Psalms chapter 33. No, it's that chom, uh, Psalms, not Chalms. Sorry. Uh, Psalms 34, chapter 9. I mean, 34, chapter 34, verse 19. Got to get it right. Okay. Psalms 34, not Chalms. 
but Psalms 34, chapter nine, I mean, verse 19. Ah, so he says, it says here, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Amen. So let me dig into that verse a little bit deeper. Now I'm going to go to the King James Version now. And I'm going to read this chapter in the King James Version, which is Psalms 34, chapter 19. Okay. Psalms 34, verses 19. Why do I keep saying, um, why do I keep saying, um, 19 chapter 19 okay so the first one i read was out of king james out of the king james versions okay which it says many are the afflictions of the righteous but the lord delivers him out of them all which is this is the one i wanted to read you i missed i missed it up but anyways check it out this is the the verse out of nine out of uh the nlt and it says here the righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to rescue each time. So no matter the troubles in our life as a Christian, as a righteous brother or righteous sister in the Lord, no matter the troubles you are in, no matter which one it is, each and every single trouble in your life, for he says that he will that he will rescue you each time. For each trouble, God will rescue you. King James Version. But the Lord delivers him out of them all. For he will deliver you out of your trouble. For he will rescue you from all your troubles. You see, these these are two different uh, um, these are two different sayings of this verse, which they they're both are awesome. So no matter what trouble, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're dealing with, that the Lord will rescue you from it. That the Lord will deliver you from it, because you are a righteous. A righteous, upright person, no matter what, because you have God living in you. Because God is in here and God lives in you 24-7 from the time that you wake up to the time you go to bed. Amen. So thank God. Give all glory to God for he will rescue you, for he will deliver you from all your troubles. So don't think that Oh, I sinned yesterday. I can't read, get into the word of God. Oh, I sinned yesterday. I can't minister in the word of God. Everybody in this world sins every single day. I'm not sugarcoating my life. I fall short of God's glory every single day. And it hurts me. And it tears me up. Sin is sin. We live in it from the time we go to, from the time we wake up to the time we go to bed. But I thank God that we can repent before him. And we could try to make it better the next day. And then the next, and then the next, and then the next. Let me read this verse to you one more time. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. NLT. The righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to, to the rescue each time. Did you hear that? The Lord comes to the rescue each time you fall into a trouble. Each time that, 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 that you're in trouble. That God will be there. The Lord will be there to rescue you. Listen to this, guys. Listen to this. You see, in this psalm right here, David expressed feelings of desperation. It seemed to him that God had forgotten him. Like many of us today, like me a couple of weeks ago, 
felt like God had left me. Felt like his covering was no longer there. But he says, I have never left you. I have never forsaken you. Okay. It seemed, it seemed to him that God had forgotten about him. At times we feel the same way, right? But when relief comes, we should, like David, encourage others who are having the same desperate feelings. We need to cry out to God for his wisdom and power to help us do right, knowing that he hears us when we pray. Key word there, that he hears us when we pray. How many times a day do we pray? Man, we don't pray enough, right? God is telling us today that we need to pray because when we pray, he hears us. We don't pray enough. We need to start praying, fam. We need to start praying to God. We need to start seeking God. We need to forget about, about the sin that we were in just a couple of days ago or yesterday or an hour ago. And saying, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough to be read in God's word. I'm not good enough to, to go out and tell somebody about God. I'm not good enough to do this or to do that, to do that. You are, for you are a righteous person. For God abides in you as long as you abide in him. Amen. He will never leave nor forsake you. For he says, many are the afflictions of the righteous. There's something always going on in our lives. We're always falling short of God's glory. We're always sinning. We're always doing the wrong thing. But that doesn't make that that shouldn't stop us from getting into word into the word of God. That shouldn't stop us on ministering. That shouldn't stop us on loving God. That shouldn't stop us on falling to our knees and praying to God. Amen. It shouldn't stop us, fam. No. We got to fight every single day of our life. And, and, and it's not, if, if, if we can't fight for, for others, which God need, wants us to do that, he wants us to go out and preach his word, at least fight for your own salvation. Be strong enough to do that. For once you fight for yours, that you're going to gain enough confidence in your life that you're going to go and fight for somebody else that you're seeing going through the same thing. Hey, I was there one time, but I know because it said, it said in Psalms chapter 34 verses 19 that many are the afflictions of the righteous. Many are, many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord, but the Lord delivers him the lord delivers her out of them all and you know what happened to me that day the lord delivered me from that for it says in psalms chapter 34 verse 19 chapter 34 verse 19 but the righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. And you know what he did for me? In that day of my desperation, in that day of, of, of me, of me in, in, in these afflictions of my life, the Lord came to rescue me and I was rescued and my life and my world was changed. At that time, at that moment, it was changed forever. Does it get easier whenever we get our give our life to God? It don't get easier. But it helps us get stronger. It helps us understand that, okay, I know I was here at one time, but I know I made it through. Did I make it through with everything that I asked for and wished for? No, but I made it through. Amen. And now the next time I go through is another storm. I know that I'm going to be stronger that next time. And I'm going to make it through that one again. 
because these storms never stop coming. They come every single day. They come every minute, every, every second of our life. They come and they come and they hit us and they hit us and they hit us. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. The enemy never sleeps. He's out to kill, steal, and destroy. He has all his, his, his little demonic spirits, whatever it is, he has out there doing his dirty work. And they're out there messing with us every single day. For one time I heard that he sends all his, his, his little demonic people out there, all his little demonic spirits to attack us Christians. And then for he himself will go after the bigger guys. And to me, the bigger guys are like those who lead the country, maybe big time pastors, you know, that that people who are heart, who are um, in higher places than we are. But no matter what, no matter who, per, what, what person it is, we're always being attacked. And it's through that lying, dirty devil. I'm going to say it again, that lying, dirty devil. Don't let him lie to you. Don't let him deceive you. Don't let him say that you ain't good enough. Don't let him whisper that into your ear because you are. We are made in the image of the Lord and the Lord loves us. And the Lord will never stop loving us. The Lord will never give up on us. Never. We are the ones who give up on the Lord. We are are the ones who feel like we ain't good enough to get into his word. Stand up today. Rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up. For he loves you. And he knows what you're going through. He knows what you're dealing with. He knows that pain and that hurt within you. He knows it. He knows it. Slow down. Stop for a minute and pray so he can hear you. Pray to him so he can heal you. Pray to him so he could deliver you. In the name of Jesus, I love you, my brothers and sisters. God bless you. And I pray that this testimony and his word did something to that heart of yours. God bless you. This is Brother Daniel Aguilar from OFF, Our Father's Ministry. Like and share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell so you can get <clears throat> so you can know get notified whenever I drop a video. In the name of Jesus, not through me. It ain't about me. It ain't about it ain't about none of that. It's about the Word of God. Mm, that's what it's about. And it's about the word of God going out to different countries, whatever, wherever it may go. God's word, God knows where his word needs to be. And I hope and I pray to God that this word is where, where his word today is where it needs to be. I love you guys. Y'all be blessed. I love you. Until next time, much love.